Marine top predators, such as Antarctic fur seals, forage in highly variable and seasonal environments with heterogeneous, patchy prey distributions, which vary in both space and time. Antarctic fur seals, a species of otterid, the eared seals, are distribu distributed in the southern hemisphere around the Antarctic polar front, where the Antarctic's cold waters converge with the warmer waters of the subantarctic. Although the species was hunted to near extinction over the 18th and 19th century, the population is now thought to number over 4 million, with 95% of the Antarctic fur seal population breeding on the island of South Georgia in the southern Atlantic Ocean. Antarctic fur seals consume mesopelagic fish and squid. However, their diet mainly consists of the Antarctic krill, a species of crustacean which feeds on phytoplankton, which are major primary producers in the marine environment. The survival and breeding success of Antarctic fur seals is closely linked to krill abundance and in turn the abundance of phytoplankton. The water around South Georgia supports a particularly high abundance of Antarctic krill due to the upwelling of nutrients at the Antarctic polar front. However, these krill have patchy distributions which exhibit large annual fluctuations related to changes in primary productivity. The foraging success of Antarctic fur seals therefore depends on the spatial and temporal occurrence of regions of primary productivity and their ability to navigate to these regions. The Antarctic fur seal foraging ecology is affected by the dial migration of krill. Antarctic krill exhibit a dial vertical migration pattern, migrating to the surface of the water during the night and descending to greater depths in the daytime. The pattern of Antarctic fur seal foraging behavior closely matches this migration. Most dives, approximately 75%, take place at night to shallow depths, less than 30 meters. The smaller portion of dives which take place during the day tend to occur at greater depths, between 40 and 75 meters, consistent with the migration of their prey in the water column. Furthermore, Antarctic fur seals breeding females exhibit central place foragers. Most research relating to the foraging ecology of Antarctic fur seals has been focused on females because of their important role in determining the population's dynamics. Female Antarctic fur seals come ashore to give birth from late November to early December. For the next four months, females alternate between foraging trips which last between 2 to 15 days during which time pups rely on their own fat reserves whilst mothers feed at sea to build up their fat reserves, which are used to produce milk to nurse pups for one to four days on their return to land. Lactating Antarctic fur seals are therefore classed as central place foragers. They are constrained by the need to travel back and forth between foraging areas at sea and their pups on land which places temporal and spatial limitations on their foraging behaviour. It is crucial that females locate prey resources throughout the lactation period to ensure both their own survival and the survival of their pups who have high energy requirements for growth and limited fasting capabilities. Research has shown that in years of reduced prey availability in the water around South Georgia, reproductive success decreases and catastrophic breeding failures occur as a result of pups not receiving sufficient provisions from their mother. So what do Antarctic fur seals do when prey availability is diminished? Research has shown that female Antarctic fur seals exhibit behavioural flexibility in their foraging behaviour, enabling them to maximise energy intake in an environment where prey abundance is highly variable. In response to decline in prey availability, female Antarctic fur seals have been shown to compensate by increasing the distance and therefore duration of foraging trips. This can be seen in this graph, where the foraging behaviour of female fur seals was tracked with GPS and marked with a yellow line on the graph. Red sections of the GPS line indicate attempts to catch prey. However, this increase in foraging time increases the mother's energy expenditure and also increases the time females spent away from their pups, which in turn increases the energy the pup requires upon the mother's return. 
Despite an increase in overall foraging duration, research has shown that females who traveled longer distances to obtain food displayed no increase in the frequency or percentage of time spent diving. It was found that, as foraging distance increased, female Antarctic fur seals exploited more high-energy prey, i.e. fish. By consuming prey with a higher energy density, these seals are able to compensate for the added costs associated with increased foraging distance, and are also able to maintain the necessary rate of energy delivery to pups. In essence, there is a trade-off between energy gain and foraging distance. This explains the existence of the different foraging strategies exhibited by female Antarctic fur seals. Antarctic fur seals therefore show flexibility in both their foraging strategy and prey choice associated with the variability they experience in the marine environment. However, in some cases, increasing time spent foraging can have disastrous consequences, although increased foraging duration can allow mothers to gain sufficient energy and nutrients for milk production, the time spent away from pups may exceed the duration during which pups are able to fast, resulting in increased pup mortality. In addition, it should be noted that increased foraging duration can reduce pup growth as mothers may only be able to provide enough milk to merely make up for their extended absence and therefore fasting of the pup. This was observed in the South Georgian population in 1994, a year of low krill abundance in which females increased foraging duration. Pup mortality in this year was the highest on record and both growth and weaning mass of pups were considerably reduced. But females who do not breed exhibit a different foraging strategy. Some work has also been conducted on female Antarctic fur seal foraging out with the breeding season when individuals are free from the limitations of central place foraging and able to migrate or disperse over large distances. Research has shown that while female Antarctic fur seals utilize a range of foraging areas, most individuals studied displayed site fidelity in the foraging areas they visited between years. That is, they return to areas where they were previously experiencing foraging success. It is thought that if individuals are unsuccess unsuccessful, however, they will continue searching for sites with suitable prey availability and will not return again to the previously visited area. But what about the male Antarctic fur seals? Comparatively little is known about the foraging ecology of male Antarctic fur seals. Antarctic fur seals exhibit a high degree of sexual dimorphism. The mass of males can be up to four times that of females. As a result of their large size, males are able to dive deeper and for longer than females. The maximum dive duration is approximately five minutes for females, but is double that, 10 minutes, for males. Whilst the maximum dive depth is around 210 meters for females, but increases to 350 meters for males. Males do not provide any parental care, so we might expect that they would tend to forage further from the breeding colony, as they do not face the same pressures as females in provisioning for their offspring. However, contrary to expectations, it has actually been shown that males generally forage closer to breeding grounds than females. The function of males foraging close to the shore are not currently known. As predation risk is extremely low around waters of South Georgia, predator avoidance and unlikely explanation for this observed behavior in males. The ability of males to dive for longer and to greater depths than females enables male fur seals to exploit foraging areas which are not utilized by females. Intraspecific competition in within Antarctic fur seal population is therefore reduced as a result of effective resource partitioning between the sexes. It has been suggested that this factor may have contributed to the rapid recovery of the small number of Antarctic fur seals which remained after the extensive hunting of the species was stopped. Most research relating to the foraging ecology of Antarctic fur seals focuses on females during the breeding season. However, the foraging ecology of females outwith the breeding season and also the foraging ecology of males 
is still largely a mystery and requires further research to address the many questions surrounding the foraging behaviour of this species in an ever-changing marine environment. This research is particularly important as climate change continues to, to disrupt marine habitats and makes this already unpredictable environment even less predictable. Mm -hmm.